Hello everyone and welcome to my review. Sorry. Welcome to my review of the Beast Morphers Silver Ranger Zord. Now I got this for Christmas. Um it's uh pretty good. Now I do want to talk about this specifically in jet mode. Um so we have a lot of nice paint detailing. Um usually the Neo Saban era would have casual paint but nothing too spectacular um the the only way i found that the paint really was kind of good on them like it was missing so much paint uh was good on the neo spawn figures as if they were formed into a megazord mode uh, but yeah uh, you can immediately tell that hasbro cares a lot more because there's a lot more paint detailing i think at least um i like that nice red there that's very nice uh, i like all the paint the paint's very nice um, right now it's in its jet mode, um, so yeah, uh, this is the Ultra Zord mask slash helmet, so you can, you know, form the Ultra Zord, that's the mask for the Ultra Zord, it goes on the back of here, but it kind of looks silly, so I don't have the Wrecker Zord, so you'll not be getting Striker Megazord, um, but, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool, I like it. Um, not really much to talk about, so let's get down to the transformation now. What you want to do first is you want to take this entire, like, jet cone here and just kind of fold it up there into the body of the figure. <laughs> you then want to fold, uh, the wings up like that. You want to take the legs and uh, kind of fold them out like that uh, again. Take it and just fold it out like that. Like that. Okay. And then... Uh, I always forget this stuff. What you want to do before you even do that is you want to take these long antenna things and flip them out all the way. I always forget this step and it's painful. You then want to take these pieces right here. You want to flip them out all the way. Technically, clean out all the way. I actually have them in a nice uh, horizontal section there. Okay, anyways, flip the wings up again. Okay. And there you have its scarab mode. Now, I do see a scarab beetle in this. It is very reminiscent. It's so obviously a beetle. You can't mistake this for anything else. It's a beetle. <laughs> but uh, that doesn't seem to be the case with uh, the mantis. <laughs> In case you don't know, the Wrecker Zord apparently has a Mantis mode, but the Beetle is just way too obvious. Anyways, um, this jet part, I'll be showing you how to decompose him, basically. So this jet part here will come off for the Striker Megazord combination. Uh, that will come off. You then want to come to here... Take this, fold these up. That's going to be important. Really important. You then want to kind of just, uh, just kind of finagle. You just kind of want to finagle for right now. Uh, you don't want to do anything. So uh, fold these back in for the sake of this video. Fold those back in. You're then going to pull the cone out. But uh, this time you're going to do something cool, I think, all right, yeah, all right, pull these sections off, this is possibly the hardest part, pull those sections off, this will, you will set to the side, now you could have it like that to, for more of a gun, but supposed to be like that. This will become the gun for the Striker Megazord. This will become the chest piece for the Striker Megazord. And these, I think, will become arms or legs. It's just one of the two. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, do that. Just dangling. No. Yeah, you, you, you want to kind of like... Okay. 
perfect. And there you go, you've got your stuff. Now, I do think that these are arms because there are fists. So, yeah, these are arms. You want them facing this direction. You then want these guys like that. You want these folded out for purposes. <laughs> you want those folded out, and you want these guys like that. And then, voila. And then, voila, you have yourself some good mega sword. I'm actually a little bit charismatic about this. I'm not sure how this works, but yeah, it works. It works. It somehow works. Anyways, yep, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.